I want to discuss the one period binomial call option pricing model. Now this is a very simple model, but it will help us to understand how options are priced. Unlike stocks and bonds where we value them based on the present value of the future cash flows, you price an option based on the concept of arbitrage. That is, two identical things should have identical prices. So those two things we're going to do have are the stock, the call option, and we're going to create a portfolio of that. And we're going to create it in such a way that it's riskless. Now this may be a really simple model, but it helps us to understand this concept. And it's also the case that if you go from one period and extend the period, number of periods infinitely, that this model actually becomes the more famous Black-Scholes option pricing model. So let's take a look at, at um, an example. So we're going to assume the stock price is 26. The interest rate is 5%. That this option it matures in six months and that the strike price on this is $26. Okay, This is a European call option. That is, it can only be exercised on the date it expires. And again, a call option lets you buy at the strike price. We want to find the price of the call. In the binomial model, there are only two states of the world in the next period. And we're going to assume that either the price rises the stock price rises to 2750 or the price falls to 2450 so we get this little picture this little tree here that says right now the stock price is 26 and it can go to 2750 or it can go to 2450 and what's the value of the call in those states the call is going to be equal to the maximum of 0 or the stock price minus the strike price. So in this case, it's $1.50, right? Remember, you can buy at the strike price, and then in the absence of transactions cost, you sell at what the market price is, $27.50, and you make a $1.50 profit. Over here, the price falls to $24.50, and again, the value of the call in this state of the world is zero, or $24.50 minus $26, which is negative. So it takes on a value of zero. What we want to do is create a portfolio where we buy delta shares of the stock for every call we write. And so this portfolio is going to have a value equal to the number of shares of stock we have minus the value of the call. Okay, so the number of, uh, the number of shares we have times the price per share minus the value of the call. So we've set this up here. So this is the value of time period zero, right? We have delta times the price 26 minus C. We want to figure out what C is. And in the upstate of the world, it's delta times 2750 minus the $1.50 value of the call. In the downstate, it's delta 2450 minus the value of the call, which is zero. Remember, these are the two prices. What we want to do is find that delta, what we call the hedge ratio, that creates a riskless portfolio for us. And it tells us how many shares we have to buy of the stock for every call that we write to make the portfolio riskless. A riskless portfolio would be the case where it doesn't matter what the stock price does, the value of the portfolio is the same. So this is the value in the upstate, delta 27.50 minus $1.50 equals delta 24.50 minus zero. Solving for delta, we get um, that delta equals 0.5, okay, or a half. So you should buy half a share of stock for every call you write. Now, you know, if it bothers you to think about buying half a share of stock, you just want that ratio to be the same. So you would buy one call, um, one share of stock for every two call options you write. Or it could be in the ratio of, you know, 100 shares of stock and writing 200 call options. So 
let's take a look here. What's the value in the upstate? It's the delta times the price of the stock minus the value of the call. Remember, you've written this, so you're going to lose this value. So this is going to be $12.25. In the downstate, it's going to be exactly the same. Okay, so we've solved delta correctly. So finally, we just want to find the price of the call. Well, what's the present value of that 1225? That 1225 is the value of the portfolio in both states of the world. We're going to take the present value of it. We said the interest rate was 5%. Okay, this is six months, so we use 2.5%. And you could do this with continuous time compounding. I'm just going to do it um, with discrete time discounting is 1195. Taking the equation for the portfolio time period zero and substituting for delta, we get the value of the portfolio, right? V zero equals delta times the price of the stock minus the value of the call. And if we solve for C, we're going to get the value of the call option is a dollar five. So what we've done is we've created this riskless portfolio. We know it has to return the riskless rate, and we've been able to back out or solve for the value of the call option by doing it this way. Okay, relatively simple to do. All right, doesn't require any higher order mathematics, but it's um a good way to understand the concept. Remember that if you write a call option, you're going to lose money when the stock price goes up. And when the stock goes up in value, you're going to make money. So you've created this riskless position and the value of the call option in this case is a dollar five.